welcome to Stampin' by Hannah here on YouTube this week. I am so sorry that I cannot join you live this week. Um, it's my daughter's third birthday today and I just knew ahead of time that um, a live video was probably going to be too much for me <laughs> after spending all day celebrating her birthday. Um... So I thought I would do some pre-recorded content and I'm it's next week is also going to be pre-recorded because I'm on my holiday. Um <laughs> but there will be something going up for you. I have everything crossed that um my catalog order is going to arrive the beginning part of hopefully the week like Monday Tuesday just gone. And obviously I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time. Um that um so that I can share some new goodies with you because all I've got at the moment is the ink colors. So <laughs> Um, I, I do have some in-colour stuff for you today. Um, I have a fabulous colour combination for you today with the in-colours. Um, but I thought I would have a look and kind of dig back into the January to June catalogue. Because I love this catalogue. It's stunning. It's There's so much stuff in here. Um, and it's all here. It's all with us all the way through till the end of June. So, you know, just because we've got the, the shiny new catalogue doesn't mean we should forget what's in this one. So... I'm looking at the Abstract Beauty Suite this week. Um, and just before we get going, as always, there is a sweet collection code. So if you want everything, you can put one item number in and get it all. So what is in this suite? There is, of course, the Hello Beauty stamp set and the coordinating dies. And what's exciting about these dies is that there is another stamp set in the annual catalogue that these coordinate with. So you're going to want to get they're just, they're, they're both in the new catalogue. Um, but everything else to, that I'm going to show you today has retired. It will retire at the end of June. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't love it, use it. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love this suite. So we've got the stamps and the dies. We've got the designer series paper that is just gorgeous. Look at all that gold foil. Um, and even the back side, I mean... I kind of turn mine so you've got, I've kind of got both sides of each, because you get four sheets. Oh, that's stripe. You get four sheets of each um, page, if that makes sense. So I turn mine so I've got, I kind of get two and two, and then I can always see. When I spread them out, I can, or I can see every single sheet. Um, so there's the paper. And then there's these fabulous hexagon, um, adhesive backed hexagons in black. I think that's Blushing Bride. Blushing Bride and Just Jade, which has sadly left us. But I still think this, you know, they still work. Um, and then there are the note cards and envelopes. These are so fun um, because you've got different, you know, loads of different cards. Really quick and easy card making um, with those. And the envelopes, all of which have fabulous coloured liners, which is amazing. And the ephemera pack as well. That's got loads of like vellum pieces in, solid pieces, just beautiful. So, I have been sharing a few cards with this suite recently. Shall I show you what I've made before? Before we jump into what I'm going to share with you today. <laughs> so, um, first off, these are two cards that I shared a little while ago. Um, I think this one got shared at the beginning of January and this one probably sometime about March. Um, but it just shows that the the, the big stamps in this um, in this stamp set layer together really, really beautifully. Um, and, you know, I love a layered stamp. You know, so I've got one colour here, another colour here, and you get another, a third colour as a bonus. Um, and I love that. So I love that layered stamp look. Then... She says, uh, this card went up on my Instagram on Saturday um, for a fabulous Poodler's um, Instagram hop. Um, and the theme of the hop was new product and all I've got is in colours. So I um, branched out a little bit. I took the brief a little bit in a strange direction. Um, <laughs> but I have used Sweet Sorbet, which is one of the fabulous new in colours. Um, in combination with Pool Party and Blushing Bride, which I think is a fabulous combination, um, to make this card. There is some um, in-colour glimmer paper shining away under there. 
um, and the cardstock and the ink. Just beautiful. I love this colour. I can see me and this colour are already very good friends. And then this card went up on my blog on Sunday for Inspire Create Challenge. And I'm going to remake this card as my first card. I've got three cards for you today. Um, but this card, I was writing, I was very happy with it, I made it, and I'm still happy with it, but there was just something, when I was writing it up on my blog for the, for the weekend, I just felt there's just something missing, there's something extra I want from this card, so I'm going to remake it. So, I have got a, P, a um, basic black card base, and I've already put my basic white panel on the front, and then I have got four triangles so this piece of designer series paper used to look like that and it measures 10 centimeters by six and that's because this measurement here um, is 10 centimeters um, so this is 10 by six and I chopped it straight down the middle diagonally um, so I've just literally lined it up in my trimmer like that so that I knew the cutting blade so if if, if this thick line here is the cutting channel of my, my trimmer um, line it up like that so you've got a kind of point on each um both diagonal points are on that cutting blade you can then cut it in a diagonal so I've, that's the design of this paper then i've also done the same with a piece of basic black cardstock now this one measured 10.3 by 6.3 and that's because what i feel is missing from this card is i want a edge i just need an edge and so by just giving me that three mil, that three millimetres, just gives me that little black edge that I re I'm just, I really want. So I'm going to grab my stamping seal and I'm going to put my seal on the back of my designer series paper. And then I'm going to line this up. So that corner to corner, right angle to right angle. Like... So, and do exactly the same with this piece. Now, this card, the original card, and this card, both of it, um, is for the Inspire Create Challenge um, challenge blog, which I am the coordinator. Um, we do a challenge every fortnight, every other Sunday. Oh dear. Every other Sunday we put a new challenge up for you. Um, you do not need a blog to enter anymore. Um, we do accept challenges that don't have a link. So if you um, see one of the challenges and think, oh, I would love to try that, make your card and you can still share it with us. Even if, um, even if you're... Um, you haven't got a blog to share it on so can you see i've got a little sticky up bit and that's because i have cut this in all sorts of different ways but i am going to just chop off that little black point at the top um because it doesn't matter that um because it's it's on the um on the edge anyway like that so i'm going to do exactly the same with that one just get rid of those bits because you're not going to be able to tell that i've cut those off once i've laid everything together i think that just i don't know it just looks a little bit more a little bit more polished a little bit more finished so yeah the inspire create challenge blog hop, um challenge blog goes live every other sunday and i would love to see you join in it would be amazing this like i said this week this is our sketch so it does look pretty similar to that um and um i will put the link i will write a blog post for this um video so if you click um the link in the down bar below there'll be a link over to my blog and you'll be able to find inspire create challenges from there look that that's better now i have already done a little bit of work because i don't like doing um, emboss heat embossing on camera. I have stamped this, the the black um, stamp, which is this one, twice um, using my stamp rotors and my me me memento, um, and I used them the stamp rotors just so that I had 
a really kind of solid black image. And then heat, left, left it for minutes dry, heat emboss the sentiment in gold, and then I fussy cut it. Um, because I, I mean, I'm, I am really enjoying fussy cutting at the moment. Um, and then we've got this stamp. Now, this stamp does appear on a lot of my cards using this stamp set. Um, it's just that, like, extra, extra little detail that I just really enjoy. And I stamp, I've stamped it in, um, Blushing Bride, because that is the pink colour that's in this paper. Um, and, um... Yeah, it's just that like extra, extra detail that just just really. You know, if you look at the rest of the cards I've made with this, look. Oh, look, there's there it is, and there it is again, and there it is again. Because it is just that little, that little detail that I just, I like little details like that on my cards. So I'm going to pop up the sentiment on a couple of dimensionals, and. Pop that, oh, pop that down on there. And then I do want some of my adhesive backed hexagons. I absolutely love these. I mean, I do love just jade, to be honest. I'm still quite sad it's left us. Um, always, take, always takes me a little while to get over the loss of ink colours. I don't know about anybody else. Um, now, so I've used the pink ones on here, but I'm actually going to use the black this time, just for just to give it a, you know maybe a slightly different look. So I'm going to pop a trio of those. So that's two of the little ones, and one of the medium size, and that is our first card. And I it I just think it's just a little step up that that piece that black strip just add something extra doesn't it so the next two cards are a similar theme kind of with a theme this week kind of day i've got i think about a diagonal um but the next card i'm going to use a lot of die cuts <laughs> went a little bit die cutting mad so i have got a card base in knight of navy which is up there with my all-time favourite colours, I have to say. And again, a layer of the basic white. Then, I've gone to town with the dyes. Now, these dyes are just stunning. Sorry, I'm trying to tidy up my desk because I'm filming. We have got this die, which I used on this card so it, it cuts the circle but then you've got the embossed um edge which is just so pretty love that then you've got three circles that coordinate you've got two label dies with that same kind of embossed swirl then you've got a series, a series of four nesting hexagons these diamonds and um, triangles, which I absolutely love, but it's the hexagons. It's these little hexagons that, at the moment that just have my heart. And I've used them again on this card and I layered them. So you can cut the whole hexagon or you can cut two halves. And what I've done is I've cut a whole hexagon in the um, pool party and then I've cut the halves just to give some dimension onto that card. And I love it. What I've done this time is I have gone with this die and I have taken taken that die to some designer series paper, which is, is abstract beauty, the designer series paper that coordinates with this. And I have die cut a bunch of floral um, prints. They do have a bit of that gold foiling on. And I also have some plain white ones. So what I am going to do is... Now we're doing my piece of basic white down first, like so. And this is a card I've got in my head but haven't tested at all, because <laughs> that's how videos with me tend to work. I don't have the time, a lot of the time, to kind of prep lots for my videos, so it is a kind of on the hoof 
sort of affair. But I think that's fun. Um, because you're crafting along with me. When it when it doesn't work, you get to see it not work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line, a diagonal line across my um card. And it might be that we cross the that, that diagonal a little a little bit. Um but I think I actually need some halves as well. Will do. But anyway, so I'm just going to start adhering these down. And I'm not doing it in, I'm not matching the patterns or doing anything in particular. Um, I am going to pop some of them up on the dimensional because why not? Um, get my little pot of. Uh, my, if I don't put my dimensional backs in a in something, this is a goo pot that I use all the time. Um, if I don't put my dimensionals on something immediately, um, I, they wander off around the house and get into all sorts of strange places. Um, I don't know if anybody else finds the same problem with the dimensionals. It just they just disappear and they yeah all sorts of funny things happen to them. So I'm doing some of them flat and some of them with some seal on the back. Like I said, I do, I am going to need um, to do, do some um, surgery, I think, on some of these. So there's a white one. And... Another DSP one, another, another one that's up like that, and I'm going to start chopping some of them. So, um, yeah, I'll chop that one, and I could have chopped these. I could have cut these using that that die if I'd have been organised enough but that like I said that would have required being organised or having some sort of thought process which I just haven't had because I've been too busy trying to prepare for Neve's birthday because you're only three once aren't you and um, yeah my daughter's a little bit crazy I mean so am I it's not like it's not expected hmm where does that one want to go I think that one wants to go down there actually. Um, so I'll chop that in half and pop that up on. I've got a half dimensional that's just floating around at the minute. Like so. So what's everybody else up to this week? Like I said, I've got I've got Neve's special third birthday, which yeah, the prep for Gosh, third third birthdays, goodness me. Don't know where the time's gone. Um, but also she's um she's never been to a birthday party because of the pandemic and all sorts of other things. And I was like, with us being on holiday, I felt suddenly felt really guilty that she wasn't gonna get a birthday party. Um and then I realised she's never been to one. So she doesn't know that it's what she's missing. Um but we've had or well, the plan is, anyway, to have a tea party with her grannies, um, which she will absolutely love. Uh, so let's just... This is, this is rough and ready crafting, this is, isn't it? <laughs> this is... I am in your craft room and you are crafting along with me. I do hope you're crafting. If you are crafting along watching my videos, by the way... I would absolutely love to see what you make. So do pop me a message and let me know um, what you have created, either whilst watching my videos or inspired by my videos. Either one would be just fabulous. So there. And then I need, I need one more, I think, of that kind of skinny edge 
Here we go, bad, but badly planned, but never mind. Oh, so there, like that. And then I just need a little triangle piece in this corner just to finish it off. Um, You could, you know, really, really go to town on planning this sort of card out. Um, which I probably should have done. Um, but I'm really happy with that. And I think that looks very, very pretty. So we do need a sentiment, don't we? What sentiment are we going to pick? Use the thank you. Shall we go for Hello Beautiful? I think Hello Beautiful will fit just nicely, just there. That would be very lovely so I have Knight of Navy Inc and we're gonna just stamp we're gonna be very brave we've got our big big girl pants on to stamp this straight down onto our card base <laughs> it's not the most perfect stamping in the world but it will do <laughs> it will do indeed look at that and that design, you know, the design is paper and the, the die cuts just do all the work, don't they? Lovely. So, now I've got, I've got, sorry, I'm making it all dizzy. I have got adhesive on my grid paper um, and it will drive me nuts. One of the beautiful things about using stamp and seal is that you will, you can rub it and it will rub off. I love it love that feature <laughs> use it a lot so i have now done my third and final card i have got a polished pink card base and we're going to do a very similar design that kind of diagonal idea um using polished pink so it's similar to this but we're going to stamp it instead so, one of the things that I just, I haven't had a chance to do with this stamp set is these little kind of florally shapes. You've got some florals, you've got some leaf shapes, and you've got some centres. And so I thought that we could have a little go at kind of some, like, sort of loose florals might be quite fun. So we'll do the floral bit first. I'm going to move my card base out of the way. Um, and so there's the floral pieces. I've got a flower centre. I'm going to pop on a bigger block so that I can see through it. And then I've got a couple of leaves. And I do somewhere have another a block mm. I can feel it there it is <laughs> for these really little ones so we need a colour combination for this card don't we we have and I mentioned in colours earlier on so I have got look at this we've got blushing bride polished pink parakeet party an Orchid Oasis. Look at those. I love that colour combination. I think it's fabulous. So I'm going to take Blushing Bride first and I'm going to stamp these big, I'm going to call it a flower. It's kind of a cloud sort of, I don't know what sort of shape it is. It's going to be a flower today. Um, and I'm going to stamp this diagonally. I'm going to move it around. We'll stamp five of them going up my card like that. Then I'm actually going to do the same with the smallest ones. So I'll leave that open. I'm going to take Orchid Oasis for the middle sized flower. This is such a stunning sort of indigo colour um, that is just so beautiful and I'm stamping some of them off the edge so it kind of looks like I've chopped this like so look at that actually I want to just pull 
one more over here just to pull that diagonal line a little bit then I want the smallest flower and we're going to fill in some of the spaces so you, or when you're doing this kind of stamped designer series paper idea really you're going to start with your biggest um start with your biggest stamp and work your way to your smallest then i take my polished pink and the kind of center and i'm going to pop that in the middle of those big flowers middle-ish there and the other flowers i think are small enough that it's okay they'll be fine without um and i want some leaves on so biggest leaf first and this is parakeet party which is a very very vibrant green almost neon kind of color um but it's fabulous look at that um, and then we'll do the same with the smaller leaf just build up that i want to call it a pattern but it's not really um oh, i need another flower over here there's a gap there's a hole I can't have a hole so i'm just gonna pop another flower in there and then i can pop another leaf in there as well to kind of cover that hole look at that oh so bright and fun so i layer that onto that that um polished pink like so layer that up there we go and then we just need one more sentiment so i think we're going to go for this cause for a celebration and i'm going to stamp this in polished pink again big girl pants on line up the i try to line my card up with my grid paper, line my stamp up using my grid paper so that I know that everything's sort of in a straight line. And sort of in a straight line is more than enough for me anyway. So that is our cards for this week. Thank you ever so much for checking out Stampin' by Hannah today. And like I said, I'm so sorry it's not live. Um, and it won't be live next week, but it will be live again the week after. While you're here, if you are shopping with me this month, don't forget to use the code club code on your orders. Also, pop over to stampingbyhannah.co.uk for all of my um, links to all my social media. Let's all the social media is also in the down bar below. Um, probably most active on Instagram, to be honest. Um, and there is a fabulous in colour joining offer this month. So if you love Parakeet Party and Orchid Oasis, as well as Sweet Sorbet, Tradition Tide and Starry Sky. Look at those, they're so stunning. Um, and your wish list um, of products in the new catalogue is more than £99. Do seriously consider grabbing a starter kit um, because you can get these ink pads completely for free with some cardstock, uh, designer series paper and some grid paper, um, as well as £130 worth of things of your choice as well. So do check that out. If you have any questions, do let me know. And I hope to see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.